Hi again, welcome to the Garage on Pierre. This time around, we'll be looking into, uh, maybe some of you had the problem and uh, solved it pretty easily, but it's not always obvious. You have a partial arc of a circle there. This is machined very regularly. It's pretty, uh, you know, like it's, it's pretty, uh, let's say, close to perfect. But you need to find uh, the radius of this, the center of this, and uh, how to set it up quite easily into, let's say, eventually I need to set, it, set this up on the rotary table. And uh, you don't want to fool around for hours to try to, you know, approximate. And uh, you want to get as close as possible and just do maybe a few fine, fine tweaks to finally install this onto the, uh, the table. So I'll show you a way with uh, intersecting lines and a uh, little bit of trigonometry that everybody is going to be able to do. I mean, uh, this is, I would say, uh, very simple, just as long as you know how to do it. And uh, that will simplify your task pretty much a lot. Uh, before we go to that, there is a gentleman named Joe. He's in California. He's uh, just got his uh, YouTube channel uh, up lately, not, not very long ago. And he's, uh, he's a machinist. He seems to be doing a good job. I think he's been at it for uh, many years. And uh, I think you may appreciate to go and visit his channel, encourage him, tell him I sent you. And uh, I think uh, you, should be, uh, you should be happy you did. So don't forget to visit uh, Spir <laughs> Sierra Speciality Auto. Sorry about the <laughs> pronunciation, but uh, and I think you, uh, you may enjoy. So let's get on with the core of the subject today. Okay, back to the talking hands. Um, we need to find cer the uh, radius of this center or uh, all circle to help us uh, setting up on the rotary table. And I think you'll be seeing obviously why I want to do this. But first thing first, let's uh, let's have the uh, this arc right laying down on the piece of car cardboard. Let's make it you know centered so we get some range to work with. What I'll be doing here. Let's get the uh, a fine uh, fine point uh, lead pencil. I'm going to be tracing very closely from the uh, actual edge there a line along this here. Okay, that's all we're getting with this vise. And now let's do the work. Let's start with this. This is not even half a circle. Let's say the circle, you can about envision that the circle being about this size. But what we need to find a circle of this is uh, two, two lines that will intersect. So let's make a first line that will intersect. And uh, for doing this, you can arbitrarily go from one side to the other. The place is not that important. So you've got an arc there. And you got to sustain a cord between two points in this arc there. And uh, first thing you're going to have to do is really find the center there and make the perpendicular line going there. See, uh, we'll be using a compass for this. This compass is nice because you can, uh, you know, have the fast acting uh, screw there. So we'll be starting by making our intersect line. I'm going to try to not block your view, but I need to see as as good as possible. Let's see about uh, making this precise as far as, as this can do. I'll make them a little wider here, so you will see uh, later why I'm doing this. Um, let's go for this one here. The more precise you make it, the better it is uh, for the uh, measurements. So let's make another arc there, starting from this end. Oh, I should have uh, been smart and made the other side at the same time. There we go. This is done. Once the holes are poked, you can go back into your little holes. And finally, let's make line here from the intersection point there to the intersection point on the other side. There we go. So this line here is exactly into the middle of this, this cord and it's also perpendicular. Now we know that the uh, 
the circle or the uh, the, cent the center of this circle will be somewhere along this line there. But we need another intersecting line to point out the uh, middle of this. So let's go and make some more. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything highly precise. Let's go from this one here. Let's make another chord on this place here. And just to be sure, the, set the third one is optional, let's say. I, I, don't, have to I don't really have to make the, uh, the third line. You know, a second line would be good enough. But let's make a third line so we'll maybe improve a little bit of precision. So what we have to do is with this, the other end, the prickly end, let's try to get as precise as possible. With this chord here, we'll try to make exactly the same thing as we did with the first chord. So we'll intersect. Uh, we'll intersect on there. We'll get, let's say, let's say A, B. This is A, this is B, and this is C. So that will be a little bit easier to sort them out. And remember, I extended the other ones a little bit there. So B will be there. Let's go to the other end here and intersect there, intersect there. That's good. And the C. See, we're having already done the C because we worked on the first place there. On the A chord, let's say with the C chord here, we got one point to do, which is going to be right there. C, oops, the other one wasn't extended enough, but quite easy to do. So I've got extended point for C here and C here. Easy enough. We'll be making the center of these chords and perpendicular. Let's uh, try to be as precise as possible like always. Here, here, and here. Okay, we got intersection here, which will be like uh, Theoretically, this will be the center, but uh, the third line will help to find the center a little bit closer. I'm making these little helps there. Okay. There we go. They pretty closely intersect, you know, pretty close to the same point. And from there, we're having the center of the uh, circle. Let's see how about uh, how close we're uh, from this. Let me get closer. Okay, now adjusted. I just put the little prickly part right there. I'm going to. I'm right into the dot there. And how about the other side? I'm a little bit past. So it means my points there aren't. 100% perfect. Let's just go a little bit on the side. I'm touching lightly there the uh, the prickly point in there also. I need to be very little bit smaller. There we go. And I think that should be about uh, yeah. Let's trace a circle. There we go. So we meet there, make the whole circle. We, like if you go for a half circle, you see that we weren't even half circle right there. So we were about, I don't know, 80% uh, of a circle. So we found, the, uh, we found the middle of this. So what we need now is to find exactly what the, di the, uh, sorry, the uh, radius would be to be um, able to set up on the uh, rotary table quite easier. Let's uh, let's try to see about uh, finding this out. So 
if we see pretty well on the uh, caliper here, we're three inches, 121 thousandths, or metric, 79.7 millimeters. So this is the radius. Okay, now that we got this, how does this help us to uh, go into the rotary table and uh, try to make, uh, you know, the, just the placement easier? You got the center there. Once you centered your rotary table, you just le uh, lean out this pattern onto the surface of the rotary table. You take your vise, line it up, line it up as it was traced onto the edges there and yes you're gonna have to do a little bit of a adjustment but you're right there I mean it's uh, you're really you're really close within a few thousands of the uh, origin so that will uh, ease up your uh, your measurements and uh, that will bring you uh, much closer to being able to match these uh, these uh, these arcs and I guess if you see this maybe you get an idea why I need to set this up on the rotary table. That's it for today. Hope this uh, helped you to maybe solve some of the problems you have. Um, this little trick sometimes uh, helps. Um, ever buy a car from someone, uh, let's say a new or used car, and the guy says, oh, I'll take it out of the garage for you? Say no. Just, I'll explain later. But say no thank you. If he insists, no thank you. It's your car. So take it out of the garage yourself. See you later. I don't know why you guess, I got an itchy nose. <laughs> Habaneros, I don't know, cherry bombs. Jalokia, Mr. Middle. This is for the dog, don't come shit in the lawn. <laughs> Special mix to come. And this is my uh, dementia medicine prescribed by uh, Kells doctor from Denmark. <laughs>